Many couples have the fantasy, the dream of having an MFM. Now, after working for 20 years with many couples around sexual exploration, it's often the man that has this particular fantasy of having an MFM with his wife, who's more vocal about it. He's very excited about the possibility of watching his wife with another man. He's excited about being the cuckold. The cuckold is, is being the one that's being teased while his wife is being cu be intimate with, a, with another man, being teased and, being and watching. And he's excited about the possibility of experiencing the body of another man. Women are more timid about admitting to wanting to experience an MFM. Um, women have been repressed for a long time. They have not been able to express who, what they really desire, what their fantasies are. They've, they've, they, it's been repressed in their beings. But when I start to talk to women, and I start to talk about the possibility of having an MFM, having two men at the same time, one being your husband, then the truths are revealed. I want to talk to you today about the four myths that people have about having an MFM. Now, the last one to me is the most important because men are held, about, held back from even um, telling their wives about their fantasies. And women are scared to even think about it. However, the actual truth is very different than what most people think. Now, myth number one, you can just go to a bar and meet a third. Although this can happen, it's most likely not to happen. It takes a lot more work to create a threesome. But you know, this work, this work can be fun and entertaining and exciting. And every step that you take forward can lead you towards having your first MFM. As we were searching for someone for our MFM, we were, we were getting super turned on and we were having really good sex throughout the process. It can be super titillating and exciting and fun to be searching for a, another sex partner. So however long the process takes, it is, it is this journey that can really bring you and your partner together with, with more desire and more sexual connection. You have to laugh as you make your way through this, this journey. It is a journey because it might take a long time and you're going experience something, you know, different and unique with your partner it can be very fun and exciting and titillating. So know that it's a journey and, and, and keep moving forward towards your goal. Keep expanding your sexual beings, keep going deeper in connection with your partner and know that the right person will come along at the right time. Myth number two, all men want and think about is having sex and therefore he is dangerous and you have to beware. So this is a male demonizing myth that is terrifying so many couples and stopping people from having experiences with men. Now, this comes from the idea that all men think about, because all men think about sex, he is therefore dangerous. All he wants is sex. All he's thinking about sex. He will do anything he can to get sex. And therefore, sex is dangerous. I was brought up with this way of thinking. As a young woman, I was afraid of being attacked by a man for sex. Through my experiences and working with men all over the world, I found that this was absolutely not true. Yes, we have a lot of work to do to help men um, learn to express themselves in healthy manners. And yes, we have a lot of work to do to help women uh, feel comfortable in their own desires and express what they really want. Ultimately, men are not sexually dangerous beings. They carry the same fears and concerns that women have. Men are sensitive, caring, loving beings that have very particular wants, needs, and desires. Men are multidimensional beings and, you know, they also have to be in the mood to want to have uh, an intimate connection and they have to find the right person. It has to be the right time, it has to be the right place in order to come together for an MFM. Uh, some of the reasons for this, these myth, this myth that exists is because, yeah, men are physically stronger and men have penises which are more visible than the female vulva. And um, 
men have also been given a lot more freedom to express themselves sexually. But yeah, two men and a woman coming together energetically is very different than just a man and a woman. But you know, if you take the precautions as you go along, like you have a no play date, um, you talk about intimate details with that person, you find out about who they are and what they want and they desire, you create boundaries, you, you spend some time with that person first, then you will find out that in the end, when you come together for the MFM, they are going to be just as particular about when you get to together and how it all comes together. And, and they're going to be just as nervous and scared as you and your partner are going to be. So if this is clicking for you and you want to take it to the next level, I am creating a course just for you. If you wouldn't mind answering a few interview questions so I can help you make this MFM a reality, then please book a call in the first link in the description below. Okay. So myth number three, there are no good men out there to have an MFM. I hear this all the time. <laughs> I mean, with the billions of men out there, how can this be true? Now, of course, um, based on the myth I just told you about the fact that all men think about is sex and therefore men are dangerous. Now, if you've never really opened up to finding a, another man to join you in an MFM, you might think this. I mean, I thought this before we started searching for uh, another partner to have this experience, but I was very surprised and actually, yeah, a little bit shocked. Uh, <laughs> of the number of different men that were interested in experiencing an MFM. So single men, married men, bi curious men, bisexual men, um, bisituational men, gay men, sexually exploratory men, um, just all sorts of different kinds of men were interested in the possibility of, this, of having an MFM. So once you and your partner put yourself out there, you put yourself online, you open up to the possibility, you're going to be quite surprised at the number of possible uh, partners that are interested in having a no play meeting with you to discuss this possibility of an MFM. So weeding down um, all the potentials to find out exactly what kind of person you and your partner um, want to be with, that, that's what you're going to have, that's what you're going to be facing. Uh, you're, you and your partner are going to have to decide, like, what kind of person do you want to be with? Are you open to someone who a uh, married, somebody who's married and but wants to have a different kind of experience? Um, do you have a particular type of type of physical type that you'd like to meet? Um, or are you open to any kind of possibility just to see what's out there and what might be intriguing for you? You remember what it was like to come together, just the two of you, you know, to to find that love of your life, the the dates that you had to go on, the relationships you had to go through, amount of time that it took to to find that one that really fits with you. So bringing in that third, it's going to take some time and some energy until you find that right match for the two of you. Um, my first uh, MFM, it took us about five months about to find that right person that matched with us. And this was after he had told me um, he was bisexual and that we wanted to have this experience. We had to go on many no play day, no play meetings with different men in order in order to us for us to find that person that we both felt attracted to and that we wanted to let into our world. So myth number four, women don't want to experience two men at the same time. Whew, now this is the biggest myth that I've heard so far. Okay, now, yes, women are um, less open about what they sexually desire and they're a little bit more timid about expressing what they really want. But many women I talk to love sex and love sex with men. Yeah, there are many um, fears holding them back from expressing their true desires, you know, like the good girl syndrome, which many women are sitting in, or um, they don't want to come across as too sexually, um, too sexual because they're afraid of what other people are going to think of them, or they might be holding on to a lot of sexual traumas from their, their past or their ancestral background. And, and they're afraid, you know, they haven't released these traumas and they are afraid to express their desires. But again, not only are women excited about having, and a little scared about having two men, but women are made <laughs> for having more than one man at a time. 
women are multi-orgasmic beings and once they enter into the sexual realm they can keep going deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper one man unless he is is fully stepping into his sexual being and his sexual expression and he understands the energetics between the masculine and feminine sexual energy <laughs> he can it can it can be very difficult for him to satisfy a woman in her sexual waking awakening and and um, sexual potential um, it takes a woman uh, once she's able to admit and allow herself the possibility of having an MFM and she is ready to do the work to step into her sexual power she will be very capable of holding the energetics and the presence of two men for an MFM her desire to have then the MFM with her husband will ultimately become the center of the experience and and she will show up far beyond what she even understands that she is capable of. So try not to close yourself off from meeting someone. There are many men out there. You just have to be in the right places. You have to align yourself as a couple. You have to be patient and wait for the right time for that person that comes into your life that fits both of you.